In this video, I want to show you what to do in case your Insignia Fire TV is not connecting to the Wi-Fi, to the internet, or maybe it's connecting, but it's cutting every, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Well, first step once this is happening, okay, first fix is to go over here and unplug your TV from the wall outlet. Even if the screen is turned on, simply unplug it. Leave it like this, unplugged. And now what we need to do is to find the power button that is located under your TV. Mine is right in the middle here, but maybe yours is on the right side or left side. Press on that button during 15 seconds. Okay, just like that. What we're doing now is we're simply draining all the remaining energy from the TV. Then you can release it. Next step after doing this, wait around two minutes. All right, give it some time. Two minutes later, plug your TV back. Okay, let's do it just like that. What I suggest also is that you go where your Wi-Fi router is located and you unplug it, okay, during that time, the same way we did with the TV. Unplug it, wait only 20 seconds, and then plug it back and wait for the internet to come back. Sometimes the issue is not with your TV, it's actually with your Wi-Fi router. I know it happened to me many times in the past. So once the router is connected back, the TV is connected back, and you wait it around five minutes at least, go ahead, power it on. You can use the remote control or the button over here. Power it back on and we need to disconnect ourselves from the Wi-Fi that we were using and reconnect ourselves. So to do so, simply take the remote, press the home button, go on the right side over there where you see the cogwheel. Once you select the cogwheel, go down and select network. From network, this is the network I'm currently connected, all right? What you need to do is to press the three bars on the remote control and then press the middle button. This will disconnect us from that network. And now it's time to reconnect. So select it, type the password, and at the end, press the connect button. And so I'll go ahead, press connect, wait a few seconds, and hopefully after doing this, your issue will be gone. You can also test your Wi-Fi connection. So over here you see connected. All you have to do to test it out is to press on it, okay, like this. Now, if you're still having issues, what I recommend is a factory reset. So how is it done? Let me show you. So it's very easy. Let's get started. So step number one is to unplug your TV. Mine is connected over here, so I'll simply pull the plug. All right, next step, okay, is to locate the button that is under the TV, the power button. Maybe yours is on the left side, right side, mine is right in the middle. Usually there is um, a small sign over here with the power uh, button, logo and input. So since my button is in the middle, what we have to do now is to keep press that button and at the same time as it's pressed, plug the TV back in the wall, okay? Um, then do not release the power button until you see Insignia, the logo Insignia appearing on the display. So maybe you need two people to do this. I'll try to do it alone just to demonstrate. So now the TV is still unplugged. You see, this is the button. I need to keep it pressed, okay? And at the same time, plug the TV. Okay, the TV is plugged and now I'm still keeping press the button. Do not release it until you see Insignia. Okay, I see Insignia. Now I can release it. Wait a few seconds. Don't touch anything at this point. Just wait. We need to see a special menu appearing on the screen. Since a Fire TV is basically an Android TV, it's the same as any Android phone. We need to enter in this special menu. So you're gonna see many different options here. The one that we need to select is over here, wipe data slash factory reset. 
Now, how do you navigate here? Well, we only have one button on this TV and we need to give some small tap, don't keep it pressed, give some small tap until the option I just talked about is highlighted in blue. You see, with small taps you can um, change whatever is highlighted here. Once this is highlighted to selected, we need to keep press that power button. Okay, so let me do it. I'm keeping it pressed until it changes to green. Okay, it's green. Now you can release it. Before factor resetting, it will simply ask us if we are sure this um, is what we want to do because it cannot be undone. Everything will be wiped out and your TV will be like brand new. So we need to highlight yes in blue. Again, press once on the power button. And once it's highlighted in blue, keep press that power button until it becomes green. Then release and in two minutes the TV will be factory reset. Now after your TV is factory reset, uh, the remote control will not be paired with your TV. What you'll have to do is to keep press on the home button during 10 seconds and then the remote control will be paired with your Insignia TV. If it's not working, okay, keep press the live TV button, this one over here during 10 seconds, and this will pair the remote control. If you change your mind, by the way, at this step, I don't know why, but let's say you change your mind, you can always select no, okay, keep press until it turns green, and then select reboot system now. Keep press to select it and the TV will reboot and this is about it. There won't be any factory reset. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.